angry Conservative minister resigns over Covid fraud. One of the House of Lords Conservative members has resigned in protest at the government's handling of the Covid business loans scandal. There is a lack of concern for the impact that fraud has on our society, according to Lord Agnew. When asked if his resignation was an assault on the Prime Minister he replied, no. The National Audit Office slammed the government last year for failing to take action to prevent individuals from taking advantage of Covid programmes. It was Lord Agnew, a Treasury Minister who was in charge of cross-government efficiency, who said that arrogance, indolence, and ignorance were stopping the government machine from working. It was his claim that the government was behaving like a kindergarten teacher and making elementary mistakes by providing loans to more than 1,000 businesses that were not in operation when Covid hit. His resignation address was read aloud in the House of Lords following a query from Labour regarding the £4.3 billion of Covid loans wiped off by the Treasury. More than 150,000 invalid claims were rejected and £500 million recovered by the government last year, according to a government official. Another £1 billion is projected to be recovered by HMRC's Tax Protection Squad. During the coronavirus pandemic, small companies will be able to use the Bounce Back Loan Programme, which was established in April of that year to that end. About a quarter of UK companies applied for the programme, which resulted in the issuance of 1.5 million loans totalling £47 billion. If a company didn't pay back a loan from a bank, a building society, or another lender that was approved by the government, the government would take care of the money. Companies could get up to £50,000, or 25% of their annual turnover, from these lenders. The British Business Bank, which manages the programme, said in September that £2 billion in loans had been returned and £1.3 billion had been defaulted on. The National Audit Office, now, reported in December 2021 that counter-fraud activities were executed too slowly. Estimated costs of fraudulent loans were set at £4.9 billion, or 11% of the entire amount paid out. Counter-fraud measures were already in place when Lord Agnew resigned from his post. The British Business Bank said it had worked with its lenders to put even more measures in place, as well. Even if Lord Agnew was the subject of political satire, the way in which he attacked the administration from the ministerial dispatch box raises serious questions. Due diligence on global epidemic rescue loans was always a trade-off with getting some £72 billion into the bank accounts of businesses, but that was always the case. With the words of ministers, in good faith, the government took the strategic choice to place a premium on speed. As a consequence, a procedure that may have lasted months was reduced to days in certain situations. This unquestionably helped the economy's recovery. This high-profile resignation of the minister was prompted by the sheer magnitude of the fraud-related losses, which are likely to total more than £20 billion. The minister added that bounce-back loans were given to more than 1,000 enterprises that were not even open for business. According to Lord Agnew, almost a quarter of the £1 billion in taxpayer-funded loans to banks has been used for fraudulent loans thus far.